on Chris and this is my Ryobi Expanded Series 10 inch pole saw review video. We've already open boxed it. We'll kind of go over how to set it up. As you can see, we have the 18 inch $129 Ryobi Weed Eater with the Expanded Series bracket right there. And that pole saw was $109.99. So it is a 10 inch saw blade that is 10 inches long and it extends up to 12 feet long. I had to test it out first because I have bought weed eaters before. I bought lawnmowers before. I've never bought a expanded pole saw. So it does come with your chain oil. If you've never used a chainsaw, you have to have your oil in it. You're just going to flip that like that. And as you can see, we have oil in it already. It is going to lubricate the blade. So when you start this thing up, you always have to watch and make sure oil is coming out. It should instantly come out. Let's top it off. All right, so the only thing that's weird is it had this tag with that string right there that said remove prior to using tool. I've already used it with that in there. I don't know, maybe that's to make adjustments on it or that's a factory adjustment, I am not sure, but we got the tension right on the blade. As you can see, we're getting oil on the blade. Let me go ahead and read up on that for a second. So I read and read in the instructions. I didn't see nothing on this tag. So maybe it's something that if you take it out, they know you used it. I'm gonna leave it in there for right now. I've already made like 20 cuts with it. Not sure, somebody let me know, but it's been working fine with, with it in there. So I would highly recommend before putting that on there that you get your weed eater started. I have a video on unboxing and reviewing it. It is an awesome weed eater, but it is very hard to start for the first time. It actually ran out of gas yesterday and it was just as hard to start yesterday as it was in that video. It should just start up right now. hasn't been started in 24 hours you can see how easy it is just don't let it run out of gas trust me so one thing i didn't know about the expanded is you can 90 degree adjust your adjustment you can put the ball there or there this is very important to know when you use the chainsaw blade let's just do it so that extension right there is just over three feet but you don't have to use it Let's go ahead and stick this on there to show how important that 90 degree adjustment is. So the chain oil is the number one thing to know about it and that 90 degree adjustment is because some of your cuts you're going to want to make them like that and then some you're going to want to make So another important thing, it has a shoulder strap. This machine is very awkward as you will see the way I hold it. It has a shoulder strap, a little setup. Very nice, but I'm not going to be making that many cuts. So now we're gonna go ahead and put the other extension on it. So the next tip is a safety tip and very important. You make damn sure that you have these things as tight as you can get them, but be careful, they're plastic. And especially that one right there because it will work itself off. I don't know if it can fall off, but you would not want that chainsaw blade falling on your face when you cut with any type of saw no matter how small or big you always need eye protection i'm not a safety freak but some people might have just bought this to cut a few limbs always protect yourself hearing protection is an option we are outside it's not that loud so the next thing you want to do is pick the machine up and figure out how you're going to hold it i actually end up holding it from about right there it's a little bit awkward but that's what i feel comfortable with as you'll see we're about to cut some stuff down we're going to cut a small tree so most people do spring cleaning i do summer cleaning because i got to get ready for the fall and we trim those trees down in less than five minutes not even gonna lie and these are pretty decent branches sharpie to scale so this is actually where the new shop is going to be and i have neglected it for about two years there is a small tree right there probably about five or six inch diameter we're going to start to cut it down probably going to drop that piece on me that's just something I'm willing to do. I should be climbing up on there and cutting it from there. But to me, a ladder's a little bit dangerous. Let's just see how this goes down.
never underestimate the freaking weight of that. Probably two inches diameter where I cut it. If it was flat ground, I wouldn't be scared, but look at all that kind of stuff. Trip hazards. Look, it's gonna fall on its own. We'll just wait for it. We got the main one cut. That's like four feet high. So I was jumping around, that's why I'm tired. And I have a real chainsaw in there, but I would've had to get on ladders, all crazy. Look at that thing. Awesome. I highly recommend this product. I've already made about, well, 21 cuts now, 22. Can't go wrong with it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.